Welcome back to another episode of Ultras 11. Uh, my name is Joe. And I'm Alex. And we're joined here today with Julian on my left and Zachary on Alex's right. And technically my right too, but like it's more Alex's right, not than mine. But um, whatever. Well, you guys are going to say hi. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, you they, for having me back. You guys, you guys want to talk? You guys always wanna... a pleasure, always a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, like, you guys took yeah, a just... mannequin challenge for real. <laughs> Right hey, before we're, we're, we did this, I actually didn't take a breath in between your intros, so like there's no time to jump yeah, in. I don't really breathe. We were talking about the mannequin challenge. I think they were just kind of stuck into that <laughs> as we were coming in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think we're going to get right into Milan just completely sucking yesterday. And uh, Zach, what color is uh, Milano? Blue, baby. <laughs> it was <laughs> an absolutely disrespectful performance from the fake Milan. It was Dude, crazy. What did you text me today? I don't think so. Daje Cardi. <laughs> <laughs> the best number nine. I don't agree. What? I think like considering Milan's like B line, like the second half, like entered into. Oh, no, no, no. That that's the thing. It, Milan just the lineup in general, what they came out with was yeah, just shocking. shocking, and just the way they played sucked. But the fact that like Inter only won, yeah, like, won nothing, and like it, it, it wasn't an impressive win that Inter was all like pumping them and they're all over them. Inter didn't look that good either. It's just that Milan looked fucking oh, yeah. horrible yeah, yesterday. How could you say it was their B-line? Really bad. What do you mean? How is it? Their, they were Dude, literally they're, they're missing mis- Leao. And Tamori. And Tamori. And Manyan. Literally the three yeah, guys. Manian, other than, other than Manian, Theo. Man, which Theo Goli hasn't man? been the same. Dude, to be fair, that goal like played on his head. If it wasn't for him, it would have been 6 nothing. <laughs> he did have a he did have a good game. He Dude, did have a good game. Some of the saves he was making was like, okay, he that's saved, a good save. Oh, his biggest save was from a corner kick that they almost scored. And he kept them in the game. He's so bad, man. Mate, because because oh. that Inter could have ran away with that game, but Inter's he he kind of kept players. it in. I, that, that's all. Okay, okay. I thought it was no, just me. not one player. Yeah. No, what do you mean, Barella? Do we just that little nah. keep up thing? As he was like turning. I thought maybe Italy, but I like. I thought, <laughs> dude. I thought it was just me because like I'm a Juve fan. I'm like I, I just naturally hate Inter and like majority of their players. No, their okay, pieces. I'm glad that it's not just me and like they are just an no unlikable team guys. and like the players they have are just like no, you don't like any. Who do you like on Inter? I like Barella. I like Onana. <laughs> I like um, this is the fucking drug. I man. like Darmian. Darmian. I do love Darmian. Too. I like Brozovic. Ew, dude, he has the longest neck in the world. <laughs> He's literally like a fucking alligator, man. He's sick. <laughs> Um, and I mean, honestly, for Inter, he's, he is Dumfries? probably he is probably oh, one of their most consistent oh, players. Wasn't even playing, was he? No, Dumfries no. wasn't playing that game. Dude, he would have dusted he's Theo. It's because he's going to Chelsea. Theo, Theo would yeah. just be complaining half the game, yeah, and Dumfries Theo, would just keep running. Best left back in the world. Eighteen goals conceded mm-hmm. in one month. Yeah. How many goals did Milan concede in one month with the best left back in the world? It's true, actually. Their back line has like been nothing like how it's been last yeah, I don't, year. I don't. I honestly don't even think if Tamori was there, he would have saved. Them uh, because stop. I mean, look how good he made. He's been making Milan's back line look. Yeah. It, okay. It's only five been... two against Sassuolo. Did he make them look good there? He wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. You know what I'm he, with? I'm with. Look when he Zach came to the this, team, right? man. He's literally a different player. And like that guy, like I said. Especially now, if this continues to happen and all these players start turning on each other, <laughs> that Milan, team's gonna fall apart overrated. faster than fucking Rome. Yeah. Get Liao out of there. Why are you guys so extending his contract? Who, Liao? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah. I think he comes to West Ham. I think I, I do. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know about that. I don't bin. see that coming. I don't, West Ham I mean, is in the bin. Paqueta, I also didn't see going We're there at the beginning yet. of the yeah, season. Yeah, can we talk about Paqueta being a flop? Yeah, okay, a flop. He is He's a flop. Just coming into his own, man. No, no, scores no, one on. goal in Dude. two years. Scored two goals. Going back. Oh, sorry, a goal a year. Perfect fucking turnover rate. Going back to Tomori. Terrible. He's the reason right now Milan's succeeding when he was playing and how why they're playing so good defensively. Yeah. And that guy, once he leaves in the summer, or if, if oh, the, he ends up staying in the summer or goes January, that guy's went back to the Prem, man. He's that guy's way too good not to be like on a, on a team no, in the Prem. No, nah, man. Yeah, with who? Do you guys need him? Him, Dude, Koulibaly? Koulibaly for him. Koulibaly or 39. Ro, Kai Will, Silva, Kai you guys another couple years? Ro, you wouldn't do Koulibaly for Tamori? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, that's what I mean. I Koulibaly honestly, goes back to Serie A. I do Koulibaly Tamori for goes a pack back. of cigarettes at this point. I'm not going to lie but, to you. No, but you can't even do it. If Koulibaly yeah, went back Koulibaly to Serie A, he would, he would find his form. No, yeah, yeah. Serie A, yeah, of course. That's not saying much, though, man. Prem's way Serie too fast. No, but he waited too long in his he career to leave. Yeah. That guy was a god before he came. And he left Napoli at the worst time imaginable. 
Or maybe yes, it was I the mean, best time imaginable. Because they, I don't they, think because Napoli grew without him. Dude, look at the season that they're having okay, now. Now we have like the connection. They moved on from them. To put a good word. It's just him. Yeah, it's just what's that guy's too? name? Crushing all this. Cavaradona. Yeah, that's his name. Cavarcellia. Him and Ocean. Man. <laughs> Ocean, dude, Ocean Man. Uh, Every time I see them together, like, one has three assists, one has three goals, one has two assists. Dude, I want to know one how long Osman's nose has been broken or whatever. No, Why dude, he's nice. wearing it's, it's a good, it's a, it's a good luck thing now. He's like Batman. He, he wore, he wore when, like when he first got injured, and then ever since then he's like, yeah, I'm keeping it on. Yeah, it, it, it helps me guy, play. At this point, he's fine. Usually, take this off the usually players like can't wait to take that off. He's like, nah. Yeah, look at I'm the staying menace with it. that Master Bombing was, and now look at him. Yeah. Now he's a Chelsea bum. And I can't do nothing. But man, he was when he was masked when he was with us because he broke his jaw. That's what I'm saying. But when he was masked on Dortmund, I mean. Oh, I didn't even remember so, that. Oh, That's nice. right. He was yeah. prime. Not, <laughs> not not of recent years. No, I was gonna say when he put on his mask with Chelsea, he was kind of shit. The Everybody only good play striker. I mean, I don't know. 18 games, games and three. Games. I don't think he really did good as, like when he went to Chelsea. Like that, just that move wasn't. The Dude, move he was for a him. Barcelona side, legend. Man. You guys haven't had a good striker since uh, Diego Costa. <laughs> no, the Aussie men will be our uh, our drug yeah, region. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a bold statement. Unless you're gonna get Kalashnikov to come with him. Actually, you know what, Ro? Can you can you explain Kalasnich? Sounds like a hockey player. No, what's the guy's name? From Georgia. Oh, Kavarchelia. Kavarchelia. Kavaradona. That man, that dude, he's <laughs> making that name yes. already. Uh, Ro, I do actually have a question for you. It seems that every team is getting investigated for some sort of financial thing, blah, blah, blah. City's in the bin. We'll get to that later. Juve's in the bin. You're not talking about that anymore, though. Cheaters. That's in the past. They're all cheaters. But the prosecutor Chelsea spent fan. how much during this January transfer window, but they are all okay. So, as our Chelsea insider, <laughs> can you please explain how the fuck this is all possible? How is well, Todd doing this? and How is he getting away off, with it? We had our debt written off. From Roman, good guy. <laughs> Roman. Also, like when the sale was happening, yes, where is Roman? Like the government, the the prem, they were all like our Lord books were being investigated. So if there was anything that's not legal, it would have gotten caught. Okay, but fast forward to like after that, like nowadays, okay, though, now, how was is the... Todd able to drop all this fucking money? Well, first off, that first transfer window, uh, shocking. But regardless, mm. nonetheless, I mean, just how he's doing these eight and a half year deals that the UEFA is like, you know what, like. We have to close this. So obviously, next window they're they're changing that rule to like max five years, but he's spreading out the cost over the the eight like the eight year contract. So like we paid eighty mil for Mudrik and over eight years. So like on the books for this year, it's ten mil. Jesus so Christ. Like the, sounds very two, sounds very familiar. I mean, like <laughs> I feel yeah, like I feel like, like they, I know a team that did that. Yeah, but it was bad enough that like they that the UEFA was like, yo, we should uh, change this. Like, you, well, like yeah. it's not illegal. But, yeah, but, but why? why so but why just, change it? Because it's a loophole, and, and a team yeah. and teams figured it out, and, and it, it, it yeah. works. Okay, yeah, sure. Like we spent, I think I said why change it now? today, and like we spent like I don't know, it was like three sixty, and like spread out over all these contracts, it came out to like under eighty mil. But how is it that's okay for Chelsea to do it? But then you look at Juve with their deals that are being investigated. Some of them are the exact same thing. Well, that I, it's I don't know about the situation. Spread. I cannot comment. Don't want to go. I prefer not to speak. I prefer not to speak. But speak, I mean, you guys cheaters, man. Cheaters in the past. <laughs> it's not cheaters about Ronaldo. Cheat. It's true, actually. Okay, Wait, no. did Zach say it's about Ronaldo? Yeah, I said because they hate Ronaldo. So you think Juve is in trouble <laughs> because of Ronaldo? Because of Ronaldo. He's suing them too, of Ronaldo. He is actually suing them. No, I'm, like tell, I, like, I'm telling you that quickly because I know we're not going to. We, we spoke enough about this, about this, the, the whole Juve thing, but. With the with like I showed you before, mm. I think now that that this video came out with that guy, the the prosecutor leading this case, that he was in, he in 2019 he he was literally came out and like in a thing he was saying, oh yeah, I I hate Juventus, I'm anti Juve if anything, I, I'm I'm a Napoli supporter. Now that that video came out, I guarantee that's what's gonna that's what Juve's gonna use in court to get them cleared from that 15 points. Yeah, but Juve sucks. And we, yeah, yeah, we do. They're, oh, they're con artists and they should be demoted. But aren't we all? Hey, Wait, you guys, didn't Roma lose that creme brulee this weekend? <laughs> but you guys <laughs> sucks? Hold on. And Roma gave the referee a Rolex. Oh, hold on. <laughs> but I don't know if that means uh, anything. We, Who's Roma in? We're in third. Who's the you guys? I had a meal in. Uh, Inter and Napoli. Nice one. Yeah. How, how, how? Roma's still red. 
How long do you think like wow. you guys keep that up? You well, you, and like gen- genuinely, genuinely, how long do you guys think? You, like how long ne- do you think by this weekend up? we'll drop points. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> lose the Lecce or something like that. Mourinho's already said the team's tired, but we're not talking about that. We're not talking about Serie A today. We're talking <laughs> about the Prem, and uh, I want to actually ask Zach this question. Zach, do you think Chelsea's kind of like Arsenal? A weird question to ask. I know. What do you mean by that? Like, with their policy right now and the way they're moving, like, how they got a kind of an inexperienced young manager. They're getting all these young kids. They're doing all these weird deals and blah, 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 and just trying to rebuild from the ground up. And, like, how Arsenal kind of did under Arteta. I guess so, but, I mean, Arsenal is doing a lot better than them. Yeah, but it's also which took is time. unfortunate. Arsenal also has a much richer history than Chelsea. And also, Chelsea is the smallest club in London. <laughs> Arsenal is the scummiest club in London. It's quite literally just but, not true. Um, <laughs> like, I get what you're saying. Nothing backs up that claim. What claim? The smallest club in London. They are the smallest club in London. We're bigger. We've been the biggest club in London for like the last decade. <laughs> He's putting his way. <laughs> <laughs> Big stadium. With Moyes still as coach. Yeah, that's... You guys blow bubbles in your stadium, man. <laughs> it's a fucking theme park. <laughs> Come on. Whatever. Anyways, back to Chelsea rebuilding to be Arsenal. I don't think they have enough of the young guys that they need. What do you mean? They just what? signed like five. <laughs> they signed like 18 what, new what players in like the last two windows. Yeah, but the, but you're saying, not, like, we'll see. like the youth. I don't like believe the, in that that thing of, oh, you got to sign up. Like, I don't like buying young players. You gotta buy a mix. You gotta buy a good yeah, mix of players. What, I don't know what I'm trying to explain. What you I'm can't just to buy say. a bunch of young guys and, yeah, and like, think that like work you like know. That. Yeah, they're gonna like but they're gonna if be. If it does work, power to Chelsea, man. You know. So you don't think they're following in the Arsenal footsteps? No. You think they're doing their own thing and they Arsenal suck. Arsenal has some ballers, man. Like, what are you gonna do about it? You know. It's true, actually. It's true. Now, Ro, you're the Chelsea fan. What do you think? <laughs> <It's> our... <laughs> I, I, hey, we'll only like them if, if we give our coach time, like to give our Arteta time. Other That's it. Like you just, yeah. But do you think no. Hotter's that guy? No, but like <laughs> Andy, his club was prior to coming to Chelsea. Like at the beginning, he never did well with them, and like it took him some time. So like, I get it. He came in. It's only been six months. You know, no preseason, all the stuff that's happened, these injuries and all that. Like. He hasn't had a proper, like, time to, like, sit with them and, like, develop with them. And it's hard. We've used the most lineup lineup changes and all that since he's been there in, in the Prem. So, it's tough to get, like, a system flowing. Like, if you're playing consistently weekly with the same starting 11, obviously you're going to have a nice rhythm flow. But, like, if you're changing that lineup every week. Yeah, but do you, do you think they're going to. So, what if you end the season with no Champions League? Oh, I don't think we're going to Champions League. Okay, what if I we, think he's still no stay. Europa League. What if you're in the conference at the end of the season? I don't even think we make conference league, but I don't think he I think he stays, but like I think he only has like until December of next season. Because season. yeah, because he'll have a fully fit team, like we'll buy a new midfield yeah, striker then, this summer. See being being Chelsea at that point, do you look at it like okay, do we give him till December, but then if he fails with a whole preseason, then we got to bring another manager that's not going to have a preseason and we we might go through the same problem. Or do we give like get a guy like Mourinho Bring him back, give him a full oh, yeah. preseason, and so, give him the give him the team like that. Luis Enrique, I'd give, but like it'll be different though. Like if they don't have preseason, because they'll have a fully fit team that's like been consistently playing since the beginning of the season until December. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it'll be in the same lineup, guys playing with each other. So I don't know. But do you think it's okay? Like the, so, like these guys here now that is carrying his microphone. <laughs> Holy! These guys that um, that Todd signed. Do you think like they're the right guys for this team? Like the type, like these guys are gonna make. Chelsea great again yeah. or do you think he's just spending into the hype like he's just hearing these names and saying you know what like, like those Bleacher Report videos that it's literally like he's just listening in on, on other no, teams like no, what they're no, like, obviously not like genuinely like that but <laughs> literally like he hears about a big name and then says you know what okay let's go for him no especially because like all the guys you brought in like like Vivelle like when Stanley like you know all these data driven guys and mm-hmm. like actually look at people like that rather than like when in the uh, Roman era we buy like just hype names yeah but like now like, I think there's actually like a method to it all and like we're not putting guys on like 250k contracts anymore besides yeah. like Sterling. Well, yeah. well, that, that's why I feel like there's the there's the comparison towards Arsenal. That like that's what I like. 
I didn't explain fully okay, but Warren's death. Okay, they just signed Martinelli on, like, a 200 and something. Or no, no, no. Yeah, like, obviously there's, like, whatever. But I'm saying, like, at the beginning of our, when Arteta took over Arsenal, they got rid of all their, like, scouts and stuff like that. Mm. And they went for, like, a fresh thing. They got that guy, Edu Gaspar, I think his name mm-hmm. is. He's their technical director. All this stuff, whatever. Yeah, Chelsea like sack yeah, like yeah, Marina like, and Peter Cech. Yeah, yeah, he wants to bring in his own people and he'll start fresh, new culture, all that. He, and if you I look at the guys he brought in, he brought in yeah. RB Leipzig and Monaco's technical Yeah, staff. he brought in, like, high-ranked guys. And, so, like, like... I agree with it. Like, he's doing well with it, but, like, especially with these new contracts he's putting them on, like, they're all, like, performance incentive-based, so... Like, guys aren't just making 200k a week and just for nothing. Like, oh, yeah, I can play well even if we don't win. But, like, now they're on, like, Mudrick's on, like, 90k. <laughs> and, like, they, these get cut if we don't make Champions League. <coughs> we make certain things. They, they get raised, like, pay raises. Yeah, performance. But like, I think that is, raises. like, very smart how he's doing all that. So, like, these guys have incentives to play well and all that. And, like, today we just hired a, a guy from, like, the, the help of the New Zealand rugby team. He's like um, I'm not a motivational speaker. So good hire, good hire. His Very good hire. Is, uh, He's gonna teach the team how to do the haka chat. All black manager. His name is. Hmm, I can't tell you his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gilbert Enoka. Yeah, he's gonna teach him how to so do the haka. So uh, he he's a mental skills coach. He has like for, a, a like, thing called no dickheads policy. No dickheads. So, yeah, so he's there to like to, like bring a winning mentality to the oh. team, like speak to them on that. So like. I mean, I think that's that's that'll go over well right now, especially with like. So you guys hired a guy that on the team. You guys hired a guy that essentially should is doing a job that with your the coach, coach yeah. should be. Yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just about to say like, yeah. isn't your coach in charge of getting them hyped up? I just whatever? think that like he yeah, probably just for a smile. Depth a bit because of, like the big names he has. Well, yeah, he's I never managed around right like now, that so. in general. So like he doesn't. He's never even managed a team of that stature. Yeah, and I just think he might be a little of his depth, but. And you think Mourinho is the guy that could come in and help? Mourinho's always that Dude, guy. Mourinho's been for the last how long's been how long's he been coaching? Uh, lest we forget. How long's he been coaching? How long's he been coaching? All right, his first how long's he been coaching, Joe? Chelsea, and he had all these big names. He said to these guys, "But what have you guys won before?" He's not wrong. Exactly. So like, he, you need a guy to be able to put these guys in their place. Yeah. Like, you know, and to motivate the thing these that guys, keep pushing them. Do that like I just don't understand is guys are playing like shit, and you're trying to play them into form. Yeah, no, they, he's... He need, they need to be dropped. Well, that's also because of his mentality from the team he came from, Yeah, right? but they need to be dropped. He didn't like, have the luxury of dropping need... a guy. Yeah, but you have to. That's, that's your coach. You have to make those decisions, and if they're not playing well, they have to be dropped to show, like, yo, like, you know, you're not pulling your weight. Well, I mean, Kai Havertz has fucking into sucked for how long, and he's still your starter. Yeah. Game in and game out. Him, up. Mount, like, they've certain... been playing, and they're, they're, yeah. they're That's awful. the thing. Coaches know, like, certain team. players... They work with, you know, like you keep playing them and then eventually they'll find that rhythm. Some players, you got to drop them, get just get that, you know, one or two games on the bench. You put them back in and they'll give you three goals that game and they and they, and they got it going again. Yeah, it'll get, it's going to get worse. It's just, who, with Potter? Yeah, just the club in general. Oh, but, but it's rough. I, mean, I don't know. I, I just don't, from the beginning, I, I didn't like, you know, like for okay, getting rid of Tuchel, I, I said it from before. I, I, I know he lost the whole, like the whole plot there and everyone was kind of done with him. I still think he that he should have been given time with that team to yeah. actually to cook a go with bit. it. Especially like that, I feel like that you know honestly I still do believe that whole Ronaldo thing is what fucked like that's what started that whole situation between them. Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like that like, he still does want to bring in like a big commercial name in the summer. Because he's American. He Dude, wants Chelsea's to getting, bring in Chelsea's getting Rocky. Neymar. He knows. Yeah, that'd be pretty yeah, A lot crazy. of people think it's name like he's mm-hmm. going to try to get Neymar. Neymar or Mbappe. Okay, Neymar probably friend. not Mbappe. Mm-hmm. Sure, we need to pay like fucking a six hundred million. Yeah, you'd have to Mbappe. buy PSG in order to get <laughs> Mbappe at this point. Yeah, I don't Those know. Are on crazy um, okay, but speaking actually of the Saudi owners, Pep Guardiola's team's in a bit of a shambolic state right now. I would think. Sitte. I, I could not believe that. Is they under actually, the spotlight right they now. They might actually be fucked. They okay. There's a bunch of reports again saying that they may be relegated. They might get this. They might get whatever. Um, they basically did the exact same thing that Juve did, and now it's being investigated by England. They falsified financial. Yeah, infor- Juve. Well, because it's literally the exact same thing: falsifying financial information, lying about how much people so were. So Juve paid. lied about the revenue, like how the yeah. money was coming in. Yeah. Juve would no, say no, they, no, not yeah, about money you, coming, not about no. It was, you guys you, lied about your transfers. Okay, no, no. no, that's, diff- that's different. That's different. For. That's different, Joe. I thought it was the exact same thing. No, 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 no. We're not getting like we're not not about money coming in. Transfers, yes, but like 
talk about like actual like this revenue, like revenue and like income. yeah, this like is what actual like investigated for not nothing to do with selling. But they were saying like Joe about money, like they were making like at the stadium yeah. on jersey sales and stuff like that. A they were like faking like that kind like, of. They stuff. They have the highest revenue with like all across every. And they, they have no fans. Yeah, they can't sell. They can't their sell the Etihad and like. They have a relatively smaller fan base compared to Barcelona. compared to other teams, but all, you're yeah. telling me they, they made, no, they don't make all this money. So the like MP that, had. that's not that's not like Juve. <laughs> when the I only, saw the fine like that, like they were the only thing. The only thing I was thought, like, that that was similar to Juve was the whole thing about paying people a certain amount, like during the COVID time, saying okay, yeah, they're they're not yeah. gonna get paid, and then but they ended up paying them like in like installments or like cash or whatever. So it wasn't like I don't know, they didn't get taxed, they didn't pay taxes on it. Mm. So like that's what Juve did, but now with so this, it was pretty City much the same thing. So something today, City thinks that it was a former, like, player or associate within the club. That leaked that it? That leaked it and, like, went about it. Yeah, because it was, it, was it was a German newspaper company that actually got the leak and told said that they inflated their sponsorship deal in 2018. Which sponsorship deal? I don't know. I didn't look that yeah, heavily into it. This has been going on for four or five years, this investigation. So, like, for them to come out now, like, yeah. you know, well, like, apparently, they got to have something big. They got to have something. Man yeah. City was apparently dodging it for a little bit, too. Well, you saw them that, that whole, yeah, that whole time when they, they said that they were going to miss uh, Champions League when they, because that whole thing with, with the financial fair play and, and yeah, stuff with that, they were getting investigated. Yeah, so they got that overturned. They, they, got, they, a, they got overturned. They had to pay 10K or yeah, something. So, but, but with the Prime now, they can't, you're not allowed to. Um, they can't like um, appeal like this one if they do get found guilty of it. Like through like the prem like courts. Like they did with UEFA and get it overturned. So like if they're found guilty, like it just is what it is. And like back to that sponsorship thing that Joe was talking about, I also read that like today that they had a sponsorship. Like one of their sponsors was not a real company, like no employees, nothing. Their address for the sponsor was like just a mailbox in London. That oh, was wasn't paying it? like 10 mil. And wasn't it like the, the, that was from like the owner? Yeah, the Saudi like guys. The Saudis were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, yeah, no, I, I, I heard about that. Yeah, they had like they had com- they had companies and, and like sponsors well, well, and stuff that like they said like oh yeah they were giving the, like this sponsor was giving this much money this sponsor real. was giving like two hundred yeah. mil this one yeah, was giving two hundred fifty mil but they're all fucking fake sponsors. I, I'm that, 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 there was literally the owner just putting more money because he had the money. Yeah, but see, I'm curious He's why. A why would that be frowned upon? Okay, I understand. That's what I'm saying. Like, why would they want to fake that? Why not? Just yeah, exactly. Put more money into the club. Yeah, I never understood. Like, what what would be wrong with the owner if he has the money? And he looks at them and says, okay, hey, I want to put fucking 20 mil of my own money into it. So like, it's, what's Because if so I'm not mistaken, isn't, isn't, isn't City, isn't City, rules that they have, so. isn't City publicly traded? I, I'm not too sure about that. Again, I didn't look too much into it. I just, I kind of feel like I scraped the iceberg on this whole City thing. Because that, well, that'll be another thing. Saudi family, and like, uh, people think it's not going to, they're going to get slapped on the wrist because yeah, like, because look at the FA money. is trying to like, partner up with the UAE for something. Yeah. So like, the thing that like, the UAE would be like, hey, like, listen, Let's not like punish City too hard because they're owned by like the Saudi group. Yeah, especially and how like, they, they want to have the World Cup yeah, there in so, twenty thirty. Yeah. I, I, I don't know that like it'll take a few years for them to get hand them a, a sentence or fine or whatever they do to them, but I don't think. Well, if if everything out. is proven to be guilty and City is found guilty, I don't know. I'm just repeating the exact same sentence in a different way. Um, what do you think is a just punishment for them? Do you think it should be relegation, or do you I, think it should just be a large fine? It potential depends. transfer ban it, like again what, it depends how bad points deduction that season yeah i guess it depends like, it what depends they, like, how bad what they like, what they proved. what they found what they're found guilty for at the end like at the end of it all but Mike, if they're found guilty for like just think the cheating city couldn't beat chelsea in the champions league finals <laughs> that's crazy it's pretty crazy <laughs> <laughs> did west ham ever beat city in the last since 2008 probably Perhaps. I feel like West Ham, West Ham, <laughs> West Ham, big performance West Ham always perhaps. beat like hey, they've beaten like a bit, they've beaten a Newcastle. big team. So hey, if they re- if they technically beat City anytime between two thousand eight till now, technically, well, West they, Ham beat a cheating they City. They said if they stripped them of like their last like six titles or whatever, they go to like it was like split half would go to Liverpool and half would go to United. Do you actually think they we could tie do them? That in they could strip them of their titles. Yeah, yeah. do they really? did it to Juve? Yeah. Yeah, okay, but you guys fixed games. That's why you got it stripped. At least so. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Cities, but you understand. But fugling their books. But you, under, but you understand how bad this still is. Yeah, you know, I agree. I agree. I know. But I understand. I, I understand. We cheated. Like I, I get. The, I get that part. <laughs> but yeah, like they, they were, like, they Joe, they, they the stuff that they did. Like City was nothing, and thus because of the stuff they did, made them a powerhouse to win all those trophies. Yeah, Yuba was already good. We I just were just don't understand cheating what, during those what times. the point of having a stupid rich owner is then if you get in trouble for investing because the way they were money. doing it. No, but I'm, I'm just saying though, like he, pro- he, they obviously invested their money and like whatever did that because he can't just straight up say here's a twenty dollar no, yeah, yeah. check. 
buy and, and fucking Fabregas yeah. or whatever. I don't know like why Fabregas. I don't know why that came into my head. No Mbappe, Neymar, yeah, Messi. Yeah, he is a legend though. Wait, when did you say since when did West Ham beat? 2008. Yeah. Nice. Twice. Yeah. Once in 2014, once in 2015. Nice. Not and bad. we beat them in the... Uh... It was in 2015. It was in 2014 when you guys had Pae? Maybe. Yeah. No. We played West Ham yeah, and then draws back. Who? Joao Felix. Oh, oh fuck. Portuguese I forgot Joao Felix. Has he, oh, the Chelsea. Has he, wait, has he played ever since that red card? No. no he hasn't yeah, played. He's yeah. his third game just up now. Oh, okay, okay. Now it's his third game. That's crazy. Fucking I forgot that dude. happened. Yeah, so now he's first game for, back. Be first game in there. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Damn. Yeah, Joao Joao Felix and Leal next year? <laughs> well, no, Joao Felix is alone. <laughs> yeah, but don't block him. Yeah, right. no. yeah I think. It, it, it all depends yeah. about Simeone. He's if he staying, ends, apparently. If he ends up, no, if he ends up staying, staying early. I thought he was leaving Simeone. No, no, dude, he did, that, he did the same thing last year, man. League, what staying. a bum, dude. Honestly, Atletico actually. Atletico is the only club that's worse than the UN. No. Yeah, I hate Atletico. Madrid. I thought you hated Barca. Do you hate Atletico hate because Simeone, or you just hate Atletico? I just hate Atletico. What about Roma? You're okay with that. I hate Roma. Too. Oh, okay. Do you like Lazio better than Roma? Yeah. Okay. But Atletico's just scum. How do you hate Roma but like Lazio? Okay, I'm not going to ask, actually. I'm not even going to fucking get into this <laughs> deep dive thing because it's going to give me a song and a dance. How to trigger Joe 101. <laughs> you know what? Regardless of that, you still didn't tell us what you think is a just punishment. For City? Yeah. Relegation. Why? What the fuck do we even need them there for? We already have United. We so don't Manchester need Manchester is blue, so. It, where? I mean, where? It, it not the stadium. Like the stadium's the not blue. It has been for the last, yeah. yeah okay. Seven They've been winning everything. Just not Champions League. Yeah, minus Champions League. Yeah, yeah sure, because they've been fucking trophy. cheating the whole time. United has won the trophies since 2017. United's trying to make do with what they got. Meanwhile, Messi's eh. like, yeah, 150 mil, 180 mil. They spent mil this summer. Yeah, and they're not, now they're winning. So that's what I got to do, spend a little bit of money. Fair Unless I you're mean, City, then you spend a lot of money. And you still I mean, lose to Chelsea in the I Champions mean, I don't even think it's the money. <laughs> I, I, I think it's just with... I think it's Who just, else did they lose? United they lose finally Real found a coach. No, Real... Yeah, but okay, Real's just, just like football loyalty. Like Pep, like even if they get like a point deduction, fucking fifteen points, well, Pep leaves regardless. Pep, I was gonna say Pep they, did they, actually say like if they get yeah. proven guilty, oh, I'm gone. Yeah, <coughs> yeah and then this. Holland goes to Newcastle. Ooh, no, no, Leeds. Buddy. He's a Leeds fan. Is he actually a Leeds fan? Yeah. Stop. Why? Because he's a dumb dad. dad. I mean, he grew up. Yeah. No, he's a really? Leeds fan. Yeah, he was. No, a Leeds fan. he'll come to the Magpies. We'll buy him. Oh, Al's a new Newcastle fan. Yeah. Yeah, they are the Magpies. I had to I had to choose a team, so I was like, you know what? Gotta go black and white. Gotta go black and white. Still, I can't. From Newcastle, the worst accent. And now, and now we got, now we got some new owners too. Finally, get some of that Saudi money. It feels nice over here. Until they soon start to do what Manchester City does. We have at least ten years of that. And the next thing you know, see you later. They're done. You're gone. By that time, hopefully, Juve will will be through this whole. Controversy that's going on. They'll be they'll be, they'll be back to good again, and then I can go back to Serie. Such a bandwagon jumper, man. So hopefully, Serie just go. Honestly, go to shit, I'm gonna man. become a West Ham fan with Zach. I think. Hey man, we we'll play you guys next weekend, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, dude, no, but if, if I'm a <laughs> supporting them, I'm not mad. They're gonna come out of the relegation. I mean, uh, West Ham's battling relegation. You can't downplay them. How far? How far are they away from it? Number sixteen. Uh, yeah, they're fine, dude. What place are you guys in? Hey, dude! Hey, Chelsea doing out, they're doing it out of respect for Pele, man. <laughs> no, we're not. They want Obrigado, to stay. No, no, they, they, they were there. They were at ten uh, for a week, for and they Pele. were like, "Okay, you know what? Hey, we we paid our respect. Now we can start moving yeah, up." Yeah, so now, now you're ultimate tribute. Now you're uh, for R nine. I get it. You there know what? I like that. No, I mean R nine still alive. Where's number sixteen? Dude, Roy Keane, the Rossi. Roy Keane, we're doing it out of respect for Roy Keane. Yeah, hopefully we see Roy Keane. That is the worst person to do it for. <laughs> Why? Because he's a bum. Okay, like he's not one of the top 10 midfielders of all time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, am I going to get involved with Roy Keane? Declan being Rice is better than him. I agree. Because Declan oh, Rice is top 5 midfielders of all time. Stop. That's another, that's another guy Chelsea's going to be buying this year at the end of, in, in the summer. I saw time. Gallagher at 50 mil for Rice. Yeah, that's, that, that, that'll, that'll definitely happen. That is the worst. You guys are getting shafted. So, actually, you know what? Gallagher's not too bad. but yeah, like, Gallagher suits a gun. Like yeah, a I was going to say, like... <laughs> I was going to say shitty team. I was going to try to keep it uh, nice. Yeah, yeah Moyes is uh, out of his mind. This guy thinks he's, that you guys are going to get a smaller team. record for... For, like, yeah, they don't want to sell him, so they put it. But you have a year on him, so I mean, either you honestly, sell him I think for he might resign. Seventy mil, or you just lose him for free. No, I think he'll resign. No. Or just, or just Moses, Moses fucking leaves. Whatever, honestly, man, it's just West Ham sucks. 
Yeah, but why? Okay, why? <laughs> can, 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 can I, wait, can I ask you? More, like, can I ask enough. you something? Why is Moy still have a I job? Don't know, because now they tied Newcastle, so he bought himself another week. I mean, you guys play well. Yeah, yeah it actually dude, did. Like, clearly, we, like we need, we need to beat you guys next weekend, man. We need to go to Dortmund. Hey, dude, a broken go. clock is right twice a day. <laughs> All right. Clearly something's Damn, going. That. Clearly something's wrong over there. Well, like Zach said, a broken clock is right twice a day. Our fucking signing was Danny Ings. <laughs> and Paqueta. <laughs> <laughs> Why Danny Ings? Dude, Danny Ings is proper Brexit of football. You need to get out of relegation. <laughs> you run a four four two Brexit of football. Okay, so then fire <laughs> boys Sean bring in Sean Dyche. Sean, Sean Dyche came out Arsenal. of the woodwork, beating Arsenal. Proper Brexit. Or give me fucking Big Sam back just to get us back up. Oh, there. dude, that would be beautiful. Like, I could see Big Sam. I could see Big Sam coming back. I actually love him, dude. I've been watching a lot of Brexit stuff on uh, YouTube. <laughs> or Wayne Rooney. You really, you really fucking with him. Oh though. yeah, dude. Sean Dyche <laughs> could come take over at Roma so any we got, day. Uh, Champions League next week, though. We do yeah. have Champions League, Champions League, I mean Europa League for me oh, and Joe. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Thursday night guy. I don't we know about you. We against West Ham to go into Dortmund with a... I guess we, okay, you guys play, you guys play Dortmund You guys are getting round. railed against Dortmund. No. Yeah, dude, Tell you what is... Me? Nah, no, Sebastian no. Haller, baby. He's coming back with a Joe, vengeance. Joe, he had a... Start. Oh, yeah, he's not going to start. He had a, he had a first... He had a 40-year-old, 18-year-old that they have to talk. He had a good first game. Yusufa Mokoko is like 73. And they have the best midfielder in the world right now. It's true. Jude. Eh, I wouldn't say They made a song about him, the Beatles. I wouldn't say best. Hey, Jude. Who's better than him right now in their current form? Modric. No. I'll still take Modric. Honestly, the only guy close to... The only guy yeah, I was going to say Pelgrin. This is his reaction. Pelgrin. This guy turned Pelgrin. so quick. Pelgrin is pretty good. I guess the guy's been 25 Here. for the last 40 Fucking years. <laughs> Shut up. You signed Danny Ings this season. Yeah, and he hurt his knee the first game. So what? <laughs> when do you play? Against Chelsea? Chelsea? No, I'm saying, when do you play in for European nights? Shut up. You won the fucking conference league last year. Not on my worst day power in Europa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got your shirt off I've never running seen, around the streets. I've never did, seen actually. someone so excited to be in Europa League. <laughs> Dude, baby steps. Rome wasn't built in a day. You take Conference League, take it by storm. We won that. Europa League? <laughs> all that for your... For Probably your, not going to win it, but we for finished For coach that four. did it all to leave at the end of the season. Yeah, okay. At least he leaves us in a better spot. We're back in Champions League, And then, and then you guys go right back down to Conference League. I just want to be back in Champions League. Roma in Champions League without Mourinho. Yeah, we oh did it before God, that, dude. Yeah, dude who you, Semi-finalist, you guys, you guys are going to have fun sexy back. Oh, I would love dude, fun sexy. Get that is <laughs> You'd have to call back Castan. There's no way we get massacred. Do you realize we'd actually probably win a couple games and make it out of the group stage? Who? I guarantee no you guys would get you guys would get five past you by Slavia Prague. Yeah, probably, but then we'd beat everybody else. No. We were in a group of deaths with Atletico Madrid and Chelsea, and we finished on top. No, no, no. It's not a group of deaths. You remember that? Okay, this guy's living in the, in the past, past man. Food. Well, that's You're all like I a have. Milan dude. fan, man. Okay. Holy. You know, like, uh, Roma's the only Italian team to reach a semi final in European competitions for the last Whoa. how many years? Wow, man. Nice, dude. Wow. What's the competition? Hey, congratulations on the Roma is winning, bro. <laughs> Almost Dude, like at the end of the day, <laughs> you, can Juve say they've been in a semifinal more re- recent time than Roma? No. We, we went to two finals more recent oh, than you. We went to two finals. We won. No. We okay, went no, to the final two. More at, like, a, a real competition finals okay, more than you. you recently you know than you. You know what? Not a fake competition. That it was just made up two years ago and you guys won it. Well, we won the inaugural. You and won you the, know what, the actually, first I, I year. Respect, I respect the conference league women. <laughs> thank you. Thank big, you. Big thing to win. Big thing to win. It is. We yeah, got is a couple. It. He's just saying that because West Ham's in it. Next year, he's like, dude, fuck conference league. Roman they're good because they won it. Well, whatever. You know, fuck you, you guys. guys. You guys got a, West Ham doesn't win the conference league. A gift card for five gigabytes of data. Yeah, dude. It was a walk in the park for us. We lost the Bodo Glimpse. You guys almost lost in the final. No, we didn't. We dominated. No, Leicester didn't even get a shot on us. No, literally, they didn't get a shot on us for two games. I don't know, You guys got a good team. I still think that it's going to be a tough game. Thanks, dude. Oh. Sorry, man. Roma does not have a good team. Roma has a very good team. Thank you, guys. Don't you guys still pay El Shadawi money? Yeah, he's still sick team. with it. Sure. He's, he's literally better than ago. Buendia on your team. He's a bum. Buendia's not on West Ham. Whatever that guy's name. What's his name? Benrahma? Benrahma, that guy Buen- sucks. Oh, Benrahma, yeah, Who's Buendia on Aston, Aston Villa? Aston Villa. Same yeah. colors, dude. It's Benrahma clear than sick. blue. Benrahma sucks. You suck. Jared Bowen sucks. Yeah, okay. The only relevant I player... I to put Sufal on a blend. Yeah, there. dude. You know what? That old man. Vamos Chelsea. Next game. loves the fucking... I don't know, man. Mudrik... He's the watch his words now. He's on the he's on the kind of uh, thin yeah. What ice happened right now. with that? I don't 
He's had a couple things on, on live. And... <laughs> like a true He's blue. He's a young guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be Mujic and uh, Zuma just standing by the corner flag while everyone boos them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just going to be waving, boo. He's yeah, <laughs> Hey, hello. Does Mujic speak English? I don't think so. I think not. I think he's like... He has a over. tattoo. Where's he from? Of Uzbekistan? <laughs> Ukraine, I think. <laughs> No, Lord Elder Shamadar <laughs> from Uzbekistan. That's it. Dude, yeah, he's yeah, crazi. He has the most goals in Uzbeki history. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to say about Shamadar guys. On that note, I think, we're gonna, I think we're going to end things off there. Borat's better than him, though. So, what do we think win Champions League quickly? <laughs> With what? Real. Hala Madrid. Who, win, who wins Champions League? And Madrid couldn't be fucking yeah, see, I don't know about Madrid could? right now. No, nah, Madrid's dude. I yeah. think that's honestly, I think that's like probably one of the hardest Dude's questions this year. Wait, did other you than see, like other than PSG, like I don't know who else is doing good, man. But why did Donnarumma tweet a bunch of pictures of Bayern? What? Like Mia San Mia, and it was like a bunch of pictures of Bayern's win, and it was like Champions League, here we come. Who's who was Donnarumma tweeted it? Because they're playing Bayern. Did I get trolled or like? Probably you got trolled, man. I, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Could be another whole Casillas coming out of the closet thing. Yeah, like that whole that was very maybe confu- that was, was a very confusing day for all maybe of us. Maybe he was hacked. I think PS- I think PSG day. wins it. Yeah, I can't really like. Donnarumma Bayern. Three points in the bag. Hashtag FC Bayern Mia San Mia. Yeah, they're playing Bayern in the Champions League. But brother, why did Donnarumma tweet a picture? Tweet that. With a bunch of pictures of of uh, Bayern. Maybe he's slow. He's trolling maybe. them, maybe, man. I don't know. It's like we're coming for you. <laughs> maybe, he, I don't know, man. Like, that's a, I don't know. I think Zach's really Anyways, uh, I think Chelsea wins. Who do you no, get, I said on. PSG. PSG, okay, Al. It's written in the stars for... Say, uh, I can't really, Lord. like... I can't really see anybody else other than... Oh, P- like, I, I don't think PSG is going to... and Delict have the same show, uh, yeah, social media manager. Oh, and he was on the wrong account. Oh, <laughs> my God. What an idiot. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Zach, who do you think wins it? Madrid, dude. No, man. I don't think Madrid. I don't know. Like, How do you not think Madrid's going to win it? I would probably say, like, Madrid is my second team. Is Al Nasser in Honestly? Yet? No, no. I'm going to go, on, I'm gonna go on a limb here. Okay. Just, so we can, we, just so we can kind of pull this back up if, if I actually am right. I think Napoli wins it. Stop. The champions. Ooh. Dude, man, this year there's so many. Everyone's kind of, like, no one's doing good, man. It's a weird no, season. Chelsea, World Ryan, Cup. We win not it's a World Bush Cup, man. Wild. Those guys are good. I want to go there. Dude, and then Mourinho's watching the I'm game. I'm joining the champions of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think Chelsea, I don't think Chelsea make it past Dortmund. <laughs> Chelsea's not going to win another Champions League in your lifetime. Okay, chill. This guy. Okay, no. In his lifetime, they will. They'll probably win yeah. another two, three. Two, Zach, three, that's statement would hold for a guy like me. <laughs> if you said <laughs> Roma would win a Champions League in any place. If you even said Roma doesn't win another trophy in my lifetime, I'd say honestly. I would, I would go as far as say Roma doesn't win another game in your lifetime. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> that's not crazy, man. Not that's crazy. not crazy. <laughs> that's not, not crazy, crazy to say I, that. I don't know with them anymore. I can't. So we're gonna hold predictions. So when, when Chelsea wins, we can come back to this. And like, yeah, we'll when, come back. And when, when Napoli wins, 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 my bold prediction. Yeah, it will come back to Messi lifting the Champions League. No. Yeah, at least we want all got different teams, though. Right? Okay. Yeah, and like last time when we all agreed <laughs> with up, it, it ends, oh, ends up being Byron like wins. <laughs> wins it. No one gets it. Byron wins. Byron was my second choice. Fuck Bayern. I hate no, Bayern no, with Bayern's, everything. Bayern's not taking it this year. And Liverpool. Liverpool sucks too. Oh, I, mean, I, God. I think Sorry. Liverpool. I think Liverpool. Like no one's questioning if, if oh Liverpool sucks. Like, they, they, like do, they do suck. Yeah, how how bad bad Liverpool is. I love watching them burn. Dude, it's, it's you crazy. Take all I, cannot, best I, I cannot believe Get that. How the fuck fucking off bad they've fallen. I never want to see his stupid face again. Klopp to Roma. Holy fuck. I was going to say, I don't know where he goes next. Send Salah to fucking the Saudi leagues so he can play with Ronaldo. Hmm. Save him in the fucking embarrassment of that shithole club. You'll never walk alone. You'll never walk anywhere ever again. So Zach really likes Liverpool. You got the job on a technicality. (laughs) I fucking hate that place, dude. Oh my, I hate all their players. Okay, so Chelsea over Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Okay, okay. Okay. City over Liverpool? Oh, 100%, yeah. Roma over Liverpool. Liverpool is bottom tier stuff. Oh, wait, yeah, Roma over Liverpool. Yeah, 100%. Oh, nice, nice. man. How about Milan over Liverpool? A <laughs> 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 miracle in Istanbul. It's <laughs> true. It was nice to see that happen to Milan. It was a shame that it was Liverpool that did it. That's a tough one. Nah, probably... Mm, nah, <laughs> Liverpool over Milan. Yeah. Milan just has shit fans. Only because of Sadio Mane. He's a, sav- he's a saving, he's a saving grace. grace. <laughs> Milan has nobody that's ever played for them that I respect. Oh, it's kind of fucked up, actually. Yeah, whatever. It's my personal thing. Pato? <laughs> Maldini? Or no. R- R- nine? No. Dida? Nope. Ronaldinho? Nope. Beckham? Mm. Mm. Beckham? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Not enough to save a club. Come on. Stop. Not even Beckham. Rooney? 
Ronaldo. Ronaldo didn't play for Yeah, he did. R9. R9. Okay, so let's say R9, because you say Ronaldo, I think of the real Ronaldo. Oh, okay. R9. Came after him, but yeah, he's the real one, for sure. I'm done. I'm I'm done. done. R9 doesn't this. say that. Zach really, has no emotional tie to Milan at all. I'm, I'm done with this fucking... <laughs> I don't Zach like absolutely hates Milan. I don't like Milan fans. <laughs> Dazi right. Icardi. Zach, Zach, <laughs> and, <laughs> Zach, enough out of you. Hey, Zach has a clear hatred for Milan, and we're going to end things on that note. Guys, thank you for listening. If you haven't yet, go follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at Ultras11. Don't forget to check out our merch, www.ultrasxi.com. Ro, Zach, thank you Muchas guys gracias. for joining us today. Every time so it was a pleasure. It was a, it was a big pleasure. Oh, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Ciao. Ciao.